Hello everybody, uh, Gazman back again with a, another game of automation. I hope you guys are safe and well, and today we will be doing a challenge sent in by a commenter, and I'm probably saying this wrong, Vlad Kruglov. Um, he suggested a series of challenges, and we're going to attempt the first one today. Um, I'm calling this the Triple L, the Luxury Ladder and Inline Challenge, so we'll get into that now. Create a new car model. So what he wants us to do here is to create a luxury car with a ladder chassis, the worst chassis you can get, an inline three engine as you know of a reasonable size, carb fed, of course, naturally, <laughs> somehow, um, with coil springs in a big old SUV. So this is gonna be quite an interesting one to make and probably even more interesting to uh, port into Beam NG and have a drive later on. So let's select the SUV body styles and hmm, which seems the most luxurious? The, oh, those are all very American and fat. That's not bad. We could do the old Range Rover style, I guess. Hmm. I guess with the carb engine that seems more appropriate. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, we'll do a big five-door Range Rover. Let's do this. Alright, so uh, panel material. Uh, let's make it out of steel. Let's, might as well make this a big heavy boy if we're, uh, if we're putting a ladder chassis in it. Oh, that, that, uh, that hurts. Um, chassis material. Yeah, we'll go steel again. Longitudinal engine. Ooh, now do we want, do we want good suspension in this thing, I guess? Oh, he wants springs. He wants springs. Or coils, so, he wants coils, so, <laughs> coils you shall have, lad. There you go. And uh, we'll leave the quality at normal. Once again, we'll go with the uh, whole no quality slider abuse rule that we set in the best worst car project. Here we go. Let's go for a new engine. Go for the Vlad 3. Um, so, yeah, Vlad 3, the, the, what, he wants a 2 litre, so, so we'll go with the 2000. So here we go, inline 3. Big cast iron, might as well. Um, now we've got the multi year at 2012, so, uh, might, might bring that forward actually a little bit. Just so we can get as much power out of this thing as we possibly can. So let's get it up to two liters. Was that having a slightly smaller stroke than four, just to get the RPM limits reasonable? There we go. Exactly two liters. Um, we'll go with the full-on dual overhead cam system. You know. Very advanced cam tech in your <laughs> in your cast iron block. Might as well put all the best stuff in here so we can have good revs in it. <clears throat> we won't turbocharge it for now, I don't think. There we go. Here we go. Right, so let's put some carbs in. <laughs> Just thinking of four barrel carb, like four barrel in the three cylinder, but okay, might as well. Um, we'll go for a performance, run on decent fuel. That just, I want to see what a race tubular exhaust looks like coming out of a, <laughs> coming out of a three cylinder. Yeah, that, that looks suitably ridiculous. I'm loving it already. I'm loving it already. So, uh, there we go. Might as well put a cat on it and muffle it just a little bit. And how much are we getting out of it? 96 kilowatts. That's not terrible, but we'll see what we can do. Now, I want 150 out of this thing. I want 150, and we're going to get it. There we go. And now, I'm not going to put a turbo on it for the moment at least um i don't know no no turbo was 
specified and I think oh whoops well I've only gone and screwed that up cool so now we're back with 153 so we can probably just turn that down just a little bit there we go that those that's not bad for a starter engine we might come back and fix that a bit later now let's let's see what this baby sounds like let's listen to it purr Luxurious. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's it's the sound of sadness, really, isn't it? All right, let's let's see what we can do. We'll leave the uh, fixtures till last. Let's see if we can make this somewhat decent. So I'll probably go with all-wheel drive, advanced automatic. All right, all right, so that's probably what we want to go for. Let's take a look at the markets and see which what we, what we want to do with this one. The actual luxury's got a body type penalty. So what we might pitch it at is the utility sport luxury. I think that's as close as we might get to the whole luxury demographic. So we'll work with that, we'll work with that. Right, Let's see what we can do. Let's make this thing up. Oh, gee, they don't want it fast, do they? Huh. I don't know what rich people want. I'm very much a peasant at the moment. No comfort presets, why have you failed me this time? Hmm. Alright, my goal is to try and get one of these values here to 100. Any one of these. And then I feel like it will be a success. Oh, okay, that works. It's right. Okay, so Utility Sport Premium seems to be the market we're aiming this thing at. Not luxury, unfortunately. Um, but that is, I feel, as good as we're going to get. So let's move on to accessorizing this thing. And look at that, that is a pimp mobile already. Now, let's try and use the more. So I'm using the... Uh, uh, what's the 4.0 beta or the 4.1 beta or something like that? So, um, it's a little bit different. Ooh. There you go, flat front. Feeling like that's got to be somewhat futuristic. Alright, do we flare the arch? Ugh, 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 that's gross. Oh, that's, mmm. That's what, what headlights do we want? Well, what do we want? this thing to be, do you want it to be like, I'm picturing this thing as like, authoritative, like this thing is, from the outside, the default luxury option, and from the inside it's just fantastic as well, but you'd never know that it's got a shitty little engine in it. We'll go with, go with something BMW-esque. Put this thing halfway between like a Range Rover and an X5. Oh, it looks a bit Dame Edna. 
Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think so. I don't really do a whole lot of SUVs, I've just realised, so I'm probably going to be irredeemably shit at designing that, and uh, I, I do apologise, but, you know, these are the risks you take when walking on the cutting edge, I guess. Alright, so let's try and adhere to the luxury principle we established in the last video, that luxury equals chrome plus big. And this thing is certainly going to be big. Let's get the biggest grill we can have to bottom this thing out. Now, well, there we go. Now it's looking somewhat... <laughs> oh... It, you know what it looks like? It looks like one of those old Land Cruisers that's had a really botched nose job, and eye job, and lip job, and every, everything. There's, everything bad has just happened. Let's, let's just finish this abomination. So there you go, it's the V8, I swear. I promise this thing's a V8, it's not a crummy little inline three. Pumping out its little two litre heart. And I think we, oh no, no, we need a sunroof. We need a sunroof to make that set of roof racks completely unusable. And there we go, I think. I think that's... I think that's it. All that's left to do is christen it. The triple L. I'm a genius. That's that's fantastic. Uh, yep. Please don't let my university see that, or they will kick me out. No, I think that's good though. Um. Yep. The engine seems to. <laughs> Is it just me? Or have we lost points in putting those fixtures on from what it was before? I think we have. Oh well. Um. But yeah. There's our little three-cylinder engine. There's our massive, stonking, great four-wheel drive that it's in. How much is <laughs> it? weighs 2.3 tons. Oh, and it's got, what, what would that be in horsepower? What, about 110? Is that, no, 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 it's more in horsepower, so it'd be, what, nearly 200 horsepower in a two-ton car. Well, personally, I can't wait to see how this thing will go in beam. I'm not sure if it's even going to be able to corner, but that's going to be the fun part. And thy task is done. So the uh, next you'll see this car will be in beam NG on the automation test track. See you there. So before actually going to beam NG, we're going to do what we did last time with the Trumpster and uh, simulate the lap beforehand and see if we can uh, beat it. So um, here we go. Test track.
Okay, can I just say this does actually sound reasonably good? In a weird way? <laughs> like, I'm picturing like an old MGB or something and not, you know, a Range Rover. Wow. 244.5. That's not bad at all. And considering that my controller hasn't arrived in the mail yet, I'm still going to be driving this thing with, what, well, I was going to say the arrow keys, three out of the four of them, who needs reverse? Yeah, this is going to be tough. Oh well, that's what these challenges are all about, let's get to it. Okay, so here we are in Beam with a royal blue version of the LLL loaded up felt like silver was just a bit plain so I uh, wanted to try a bit of a different color and as you can see it still looks pig ugly so we got a time what was it two minutes 44 and a half to beat which if you if you remember the trumps the last episode that thing I think it was a full minute slower I'm hoping this thing's a bit easier to handle right here we go It's quiet. Oh! It's actually not bad to drive so far. Apart from the fact that it sounds like an electric vehicle. Where's the engine sound from automation gone? Do we get it if we... No? Oh. Okay. Now through here flats. Yes! Oh Christ! <laughs> the brakes are awful! Oh, yep, okay, that's... Hmm, I feel like that's a restart. Uh, edit, edit, edit. Okay, here we are, totally for the first time. Uh, let's set off in the triple L. Oh. Thought I could go through there a bit flatter this time. I mean, um, the first time. I don't know why I would have repeated this. And it's still quite a pleasure to drive, just so long as there's no, you know, tight corners. It's just, just a shame that that's... Uh, Free revving engine. Oh my god, I've done it again! I've done it again! I've done it again! It's alright, we lived this time. It's an all-terrain vehicle. It's all fine. It's all fine. We got this. Alright, to the carousel now. Actually break for this, you champ. There we go. Right, what's our sector one time? Okay, cool. I forgot that it doesn't... <laughs> Doesn't do that with my current HUD settings and automation, so at least you guys get the benefit of the doubt. I'm totally blind. Getting up to the quoted top speed of 195 with this thing. I'm assuming we can go through here flat. Even with the ladder chassis and the uh, and the coil leaf, uh, no, the the coil axles. Now, here's where I had trouble with the Trumpster. I think we break here. I don't know what that dragging noise is. Oh god! No, we're fine, we're fine, it's all good. And that's the second sector done. I feel like we're reasonably on point at the time. Oh, big, big time freeze there, big time freeze. Oh! Okay, that's fine. No, the, just continue on, that's my method of braking. Just had some big time frame rate issues, which is yep, still having them. Don't know if this thing's so big and shite that's turning this thing into a slideshow, but 
Change this corner all right. Look at that. Turning into a pro. Yep, this is this is good. This is fine. It is, it is distracting, <laughs> not having engine sound for this car for whatever reason. But it's all good as we come to the checkered flag in this horrendously ugly abomination of a machine. What time do we set? Oh boy, I was a long way off. I'm like twelve seconds off the pace. Still, that's almost a minute faster than the Trumpster from last uh, last episode, so that's something at least. And we get to see the enjoyable sight of it crashing and destroying itself in that tyre barrier, so... That's a win-win. Yes, yeah, so that will do it for uh, today's episode of Automation with the Triple L four-wheel drive SUV luxury... Terrible engine piece of shit. <laughs> uh, once again, cheers to uh, cheers to Vlad Kruglov for uh, the challenge, and there's a few more coming, by the way. The uh, uh, the next project actually is also uh, one of Vlad's suggestions, something I'm really looking forward to. I've nicknamed it the Aussie Crawl. It's a trans-mounted um, front. Ugh. Ugh. It's a transverse V8 Ute with front-wheel drive. So. That should be a right dog to drive and uh, should be really fun to create. Hopefully I have my controller by then, so I'll actually be able to drive the damn thing properly. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you um, enjoyed that, then you're insane. But, you know, drop a like and um, that would, you know, really, really help me out. And uh, I suppose I'll, uh, I'll see you next time.